Okay, we're talking about high-intensity training and a couple of questions. So what is high-intensity interval training? High-intensity interval training just simply refers to alternating periods of high and low-intensity exercise. So an effort that's higher or out of your comfort zone a little bit and then backing off, taking it easy or resting completely. And how high is high and how long are the intervals? Uh, great question. I think one of the nice things about interval training is it's infinitely variable. So. For example, one model we've used is 60 seconds hard at a heart rate of about 90% of maximum uh, with uh, walking recovery in between. Mm -hmm. um, what's, a, what's the benefit of this kind of training versus other kinds of training that people might do? It, probably the biggest is it appears to be very time efficient. So mm -hmm. you can elicit many of the adaptations we associate with traditional endurance training, uh, like the public health guidelines, but in a shorter period of time and with less total exercise. Okay, and that's probably for the recreational athlete. How about um, for the, the more serious athlete? I think any serious endurance athlete is already incorporating HIT into their training program. Uh, and uh, some of the recent suggestions would be a, a ratio of 20 to 25 percent HIT versus uh, 80 or 75 percent of, of base training might be an optimum way to go. And is there a range of sports that it's most applicable to, or do you think it's, uh, it's, it's really broad? Well, I think. It, any effort you do that lasts more than two minutes at an intense pace, uh, most of the energy is coming from the aerobic system or oxidative system. So I think there's a wide range of sports that interval training can be applicable to. That's probably surprising to most, most people. So at, at what, um, so over, let's say it's 30 seconds or, or 60 seconds in, in an interval, when do you start switching over from uh, the, the kind of uh, anaerobic to more aerobic? We know that we activate all of the energy systems from the outset. So basically any type of exercise we do, we're getting energy from all of those systems. But say a single 30 second sprint, there's a gradual increase in the contribution from the aerobic system. So in the latter half of that sprint, most of the energy is coming from the aerobic system. So we, mm. we tax it and turn it on pretty quickly. Yeah. Surprise, probably surprising to, to many people. It huh? is. Well, you'll frequently hear high intensity training is quote unquote anaerobic training and it's really a, a misnomer. And the, and the benefits of, to the, of this kind of training? Uh, for, for the athlete, obviously, they can sustain a higher pace. So if they're given a, a time trial, they can race faster. Uh, for the average person, uh, many of the traditional fitness markers that we think about, you know, increase in cardiac output or the amount of blood that your heart can pump, um, less fatigue, so even walking stairs, you get less uh, symptoms of, of fatigue. Uh, so basically anything that we've measured that we know improves with endurance training, we're seeing an adaptation with HIT as well. Hmm. That's great. So do you practice what you preach? Yeah, I do. You know, uh, busy middle-aged guy with a few kids. So uh, many people in our lab have adopted a, a hit approach. Good. I've, I've tried it as well. Works for me. Thanks a lot, Mark. Okay, thank you. All right.